Hi, I'm Marcus, and uh, I'm one of the uh, partners in US VOT. We're launching a company that specializes in vertical axis wind turbines. Uh, I got interested in these because I've had horizontal axis wind turbines, and um, they work, but they're noisy. Um, uh, they tend to work in a narrow range of winds. They furl at high wind speeds. Um, they really don't produce much in low wind speeds. And the reason I like the vertical axis wind turbines is they're really quiet. You put them up. They're kind of like solar panels. You put them up and they just go. Whatever wind speeds you throw at them, they'll eat it up. They're higher torque, uh, lower speed, which presents some challenges. At those low speeds, it's, it's really difficult to produce um, a lot of electrical energy because all the alternators out there on the market really are designed for horizontal axis wind turbines. So coming up with an alternator that works with these has been a real, you know, passion of mine and um, my partners for a long time. And I think we've, you know, definitely we're on the road to getting it. So all the work we've done is computer designed. Um, started with modeling, computer analysis, and then we went to uh, design work. So all the parts are you know, CAD drawn, um, this is CNC wing rotor, holds the wing on, the right angle, basically we've got these on the, the wings, um, and the wings are all cut by CNC machines. Alright, we get these wings cut, they're CNC cut, and they come like this. This is a special kind of foam, it's called spider foam, it's used for surfboards. And uh, basically it's a foam that has a vertically oriented grain, which makes it a lot stronger. This is where we slide our aluminum spar. That aluminum spar is going to come in and pick up on, going to pick up on two spots on our rotor arms. And if you want you can paint this or if you want you can coat this with fiberglass and it makes it extremely strong. But it's a it's pretty pretty strong foam. It's not your typical insulation foam. Uh, this happens to be a NACA 0020. Nothing real special about it. We've got some other blades but this one has proven to be a very good blade. Um, Self-starts at about 4 miles per hour, and I've had it up to 300 RPM. 